پاکستان میں دہشت گردی کے ناقابل تردید ثبوت اقوام متحدہ کے حوالے کر دیے ہیں ان خیالات کا اظہار قوام متحدہ میں پاکستان کے مستقل مندوب ایمبیسڈر مونی رقم نے گزشتہ روز نیو یارک میں پاکستان مشن ٹو یو این میں ایک اہم کانفرنس کے دوران کیا ایمبیسڈر مونی رقم کا کہنا تھا کہ پاکستان نے انڈیا کی ایما پر پاکستان میں دہشت گردی کی ظالمانہ کاروائیوں کرنے والے دہشت گردوں کو گرفتار کر لیا ہے ان کا کہنا تھا کہ دہشت گردی کی کاروائیوں میں ملوث اہم ثبوت ایک ڈوزیئر کی صورت میں اقوام متحدہ کے سیکرٹری جنرل مسٹر اینٹونیو گریٹس کے حوالے کر دیے گئے ہیں امبیسڈر مونی رقم کی اس اہم کانفرنس کو سوشل میڈیا کے ٹول زوم کے ذریعے پوری دنیا میں براڈ کاسٹ بھی کیا گیا جہاں بین الاقوامی صحافیوں نے آپ سے سوالات بھی کیے آئیے دیکھتے ہیں ایک ایکسکلوسو رپورٹ with us at the Pakistan mission uh, and those who have joined us uh, online <coughs> for this uh, hybrid uh, press briefing. Uh, I would like to inform you that uh, I met the United Nations Secretary General uh, today uh, to share with him the dossier of evidence Uh, which we have put together <clears throat> after full investigations of India's systematic campaign to promote terrorism in Pakistan. Since 9-11, Pakistan has combated terrorist groups on the Pakistan-Afghanistan border. Pakistan was responsible for the decimation of Al-Qaeda and its affiliates. In effective military operations since 2014, we have cleared our territory of all such terrorist groups. In the most successful counter-terrorism operation anywhere in the world, <clears throat> Pakistan has paid a heavy price in the fight against terrorism. We, of course, knew of India's hand in such attacks. We now have gathered irrefutable evidence that India is engaged in a systematic campaign to destabilize Pakistan through terrorist attacks, promotion of subversion in what is popularly called a hybrid or fifth generation war against Pakistan. The Indian campaign against Pakistan encompasses one, the promotion and sponsorship of listed terrorist organizations like the TTP, the JUA, and others, which were uprooted from Pakistan, and they have been revived by the Indians to conduct cross-border attacks. We have tracked India's involvement to the army school attack in Peshawar in 2014. The sponsorship of Baluch insurgents grouped under the so-called brass are uh, designed to disrupt the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, CPEC. The Indian-funded groups were involved in the attacks on the Chinese consulate in Karachi and in last year's attack on the Pakistan Stock Exchange. India has also helped to merge the splinter groups of the TTP. It is now trying to create a coalition between the TTP and the Baluch insurgents. Uh, <coughs> and we have clear evidence that Indian agencies and embassies and consulates are funding these groups. India's terrorist and subversive campaign 
is being directed at the highest levels of the Indian leadership. India's sponsorship of terrorism is a blatant violation of the UN Charter, of UN Security Council resolutions, including resolutions 1267 and 1373, and international law. Moreover, other countries in the region have also been the victims of Indian-sponsored terrorism. Despite India's terror campaign, Pakistan will continue its cooperation with the international community to eliminate terrorism from our region and to promote peace and stability. Pakistan has today called on the Secretary General and the international community to take note of Indian terrorism and subversion against Pakistan and to prevail on India to desist from these illegal and aggressive activities. We have urged the Secretary General to play his role in persuading India to halt its terror and subversive campaign against Pakistan. Pakistan will draw the attention of the relevant UN bodies, including the Security Council, to India's sponsorship of terrorism and subversion against Pakistan. Pakistan also reserves the right to exercise its right of self-defense in accordance with the principles and provisions of the UN Charter. I would like to stop here and I would be happy to take any questions. best to defend Pakistan in the international community. And at the same time, Indian so-called uh, secular state of India is also uh, killing the uh, young population of Kash in, within the held Kashmir, occupied Kashmir. So are you satisfied with the, uh, your efforts uh, within the international community, please? I can tell you uh, that neither I nor the Pakistani government or the Pakistani leadership will be satisfied until we are able to realize self-determination for the people of Jammu and Kashmir. That will continue to be our commitment and to the cause of the Kashmiris. We are facing uh, imposing challenges. Uh, our adversary is seven times larger than us. Uh, it has 900,000 troops stationed in occupied Kashmir. It is not for one or two young boys who are killed by the Indians. These pose no, no real threat to, to, to India. Uh, it, is, it is launched on an effort of, of repression. Uh, as such, we have to change the dynamics we have to convince the international community. Uh, and for that, we need strength. We need strength in Pakistan. <clears throat> we need unity in Pakistan. And we, we need to be clear about our objectives. And I think that once we are uh, strong and united and determined, uh, we will be able to help the, help the Kashmiris. But it is a uh, long, and difficult struggle, and we will need to be continue to be engaged in that. فرانس کی جانب سے سرکاری سطح پر آن حضور صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کے خاکوں کے حوالے سے امبیسڈر منیر رقم کا کہنا تھا یونائٹ نیشن میں پاکستان کے مستقب نوندرمین آنرابل مسٹر منیر رقم صاحب ویلکم ٹو دنیا ان گلوبل انٹرنیشنل جو فرانس کے صدر نے جو کیری کے ایچرز کیری کی ہے سرکاری سطح پر اس کے حوالے سے کوئی انٹرنیشنل کمیونٹی میں کوئی ریسپونس ہو یا اس کے بارے میں آپ کیا کہتے ہیں یہ تھوڑے سب ہماری کوشش یہ ہے کہ جو مسلمانوں کے خلاف یا اسلام کے خلاف جو بیزتی ہوتی ہے بے عدوی ہوتی ہے اس کو روکا جائے 
और ये जो पूरी दुनिया है जो वेस्टर्न ममालिक हैं इनमें एक रियलाइजेशन आनी चाहिए कि मुसलमानों के खिलाफ हमारे पैगम्बर साहब के खिलाफ वो इस तरह की बेअदबी नहीं कर सकते हैं और ये फ्रीडम ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन नहीं है ये बदतमीज़ी है तो हमने यहाँ यूनाइटेड नेशन जनरल असम्बली में आप देखेंगे हमने कुछ मजाकर की हैं कुछ हम रेजोल्यूशनस हम यहाँ पेश करेंगे जिससे हम प्रमोट करना चाहते हैं रिस्पेक्ट फॉर रिलीजस सिंबल्स रिस्पेक्ट फॉर होली साइट्स रिस्पेक्ट फॉर इंटरने होली पर्सनैलिटीज़ तो और जो इस्लामोफोबिया का जो फिनना है उसकी ऑपोजिशन Thank you.